Hello, good morning. We are taking a look at today, 1 Samuel chapter 15, and we see that uh, so, uh, King Saul spares King Agag uh, from the Amalekites. Um, you know, this is after God has, is, uh, uh, through the prophet Samuel, given Saul a word that he is to kill everybody, that he is to uh, um, kill all of the livestock, that, that there's not to be a person left. You see, God does not want any sin left in the camp. He wants it all gone. And he looks at the Amalekites as sinners and, and because they have, they have attacked Israel. And God wants them all gone. All gone. He does not want any sin. You know, you look at, at uh, uh, cancer. I have a friend who uh, uh, has uh, cancer and he had it removed uh, some time ago. But they accidentally left a little bit in there. They thought they got it all, but they didn't. Well, now it's back and it's even worse. And you see, this is, this is what happens with sin when you allow a little bit into your life. And yet, well, I got almost all of it, but you leave just a little in there. And, and you know, it will grow grow worse. And, you know, so God want, wanted that king dead. And, and, and Saul decides uh, that he's not going to kill him. He also decides that he's going to let his people, because he feared the people, go ahead and take all, all of all of the choice livestock for sacrifices and, and whatever else they're going to do with it. So as we move on, we see that God rejects Saul as king of Israel. And we see that he goes on and, and Samuel just, just really gives into it. Samuel himself, actually, the Bible says Samuel hacks to pieces King Agog, Agag. It brings me to my point. When we get down here, down to the end, and the last couple verses, we see that Samuel left Saul. Um, and Samuel never went back to him. Samuel told him, God rejects you. And he never went back to him till his death. I'm going to pick it up at the end of verse number 35. It says, And the Lord regretted that he had made Saul king over Israel. You see, he gave Saul um, a plan and a purpose. You know, his plan and a purpose was to, to lead the people by wisdom of the Lord. And he didn't do it. And Saul, re and, and God regretted that he made Saul king. And, you know, and, and I'm thinking about this and, and, you know, boy, I do not want the Lord to regret anything he has done in me and through me. I do not. That, that's just, that, that's, one, <laughs> that's one thing that, that I do not comprehend, that I do not want to comprehend, is that the Lord regrets what he has done in me, you know, the Lord's given me, he has blessed me tremendously. I have a wonderfully godly wife and I, I, you know what? I do not want him to regret giving her to me. I do not want him to regret giving me a license to minister. Um, I do not want him to regret giving me this home or giving me y y the spiritual sons that, that he has blessed me with. I do not want him to regret those. I want to steward them. The way it is intended. I want to steward this life the way that is intended. And all the wonderful blessings, whether whether it, it, it's a physical blessing, a materialistic blessing, a spiritual blessing, I want to steward them all properly. And we can take a great lesson from Saul here that, you know what, if you don't steward things properly, the Lord will take it away. You know, he... he he has a plan and purpose, not just for your life, but all the wonderful blessings and favor that he imparts into your life. He has a plan and a purpose for that. And without having that intimate relationship with him and gleaning the wisdom from him, asking him for that wisdom to steward properly, we can't. We just can't. So please. Lord regretted he had made Saul king over Israel. I pray in my life I never hear the Lord regretted making Donnie blah, blah, blah. Whatever his plan and purpose is. And my prayer for you is that you are getting after God. And whatever parts of your life you have not given him already, 
I pray that you open up your heart. Open up that book. Open up to that chapter that says, God, you can't touch this and let him touch it. Have a super, super day, guys. I love you all. Bye-bye.